welcome back to Creative Tutorials. In this episode, I'll talk about the billboard. The billboard is one of those easier, more basic things, but it's actually kind of difficult to understand. First of all, I'll go into the settings, as well as just about how to you may want to orient this billboard. Now, in billboard, just so you know, there are two sides. There's one in the black in the back, and one in green in the front. The green one is from the side that the name will be, or the words will be written on. When placing this billboard, you may want to be able to rotate it, to depending on how you want to place it. If you want to place it sideways, or just partially sideways, like this. If you want to place something like a billboard in the air, there's a special thing you're going to do. Where you have to go into options, and change the drops from on to off. That way, you'll be able to keep them placing them in the air. Now, with billboards, there are a bunch of different settings that you can select from. Starting off is the text, or you can write whatever you want, and that will appear on the billboard. Now, the text size means how big or small the text will be, meaning extra large is this big, while extra well, small is this tiny. Now, for most game studios, you want to either have large or extra large, because you won't have that many words. Text justification is which side you want the text to be, on the left, centered, or on the right. Like right now, the text is on the right, here, centered, and you saw it was on the left. Next, you have the text font. You really don't need to change the text font, but you may have a preference between the three. But really, they don't even change too much. Now, outline is the thickness of black. You can either have really thick black outline like that, or light, which is which could be helpful if there is a bunch of light w white walls around it. You might want to have a black outline just for decoration, but it won't make much difference. Shadows also can have a shadow of the text, but really, most people you don't need a shadow for. Text color, you can also select one of which is the color you want it to be. Now, I'll go into more settings. Here, you can see most of the ones I already talked about. There's also something like view distance, how far you can see it from. Really, infinite is going to be the best for you, because most times you can have a wall which blocks it either way. Now with during a phase, don't really need to set text to visible, you can either hide or show some text, depending on what channels you want. Now you may be wondering why you may want to hide or show channels, and I'll show you right now in my box and map that I talked about before. Here, I want to be able to select which items I get. So on my teleporters that I talked about last time, I can make it so when I enter them, it transmits on a signal, it doesn't matter which one, but I transmit on that signal, and then I can set the text to be hidden when it receives from that signal. That means I can deactivate that teleporter, and that way no one will ever be able to walk through that beacon, or teleport through it, or get any of the items from that teleporter. 